Hello everybody, Mr. LEGO Lover 55 here, and welcome to another LEGO set review. Today we're taking a look at set 8601, Toa Metru Vakama. This set is recommended for ages 7 and up, and has around 48 pieces. So taking a look at the box here, you can see it's just a regular sort of canister. This one is a bit of a different design from the original Toa Mata and Toa Nuva canisters and all that. But uh, here on the front, we've, of course, got Toa Vakama, Bionicle logo there at the top, Lego logo here in the corner, a bunch of other stuff, set info there, uh, some uh, instant win game side inside thing. There's uh, That's the Kanoka Club code, and it says in different languages. Info stuff uh, shows on the back, it shows a little... Uh, picture of Metru Nui and where all of the Toa are from, all the Toa Metru. And again, there's more stuff on that Kanoka Club thing and a cool uh, image there of Vakama. But uh, anyways, that's pretty much it for the canister for now. Let's go ahead and take a look at Vakama himself. So here is Toa Metru Vakama all built up, and I guess we'll go ahead and start off with play features. So his primary play feature, uh, at least for him, is his disc launcher, and basically how it works is yeah, it comes with a disc, and this is his disc, by the way. On um, there, there's uh, Mato the Matoran language there, uh, the Matoran alphabets, and that, which basically says Vakama, his name, of course. So basically, you put the disc in here, you sort of whoops, line it up a bit like that, and you uh, would be able to shoot it by pressing down like that, or... Uh, pinching the disc launcher like that. Uh, for some reason, this disc, or at least the disc that I have, doesn't shoot very well, but if I, like, try another disc, like, for example, this one, this disc of time, uh, it shoots better, so I'm not sure if it, I don't know. So, and I feel like the, the tran this transparent disc is, I don't know, it feels a lot more, I guess, feels like you can bend it easier than, like, uh, say, a solid color disc, so I'm not sure, maybe it has something to do with uh, the transparent discs or something like that, I'm not entirely too sure, or maybe if it's just specifically this disc that I have, but uh, I don't know, that's just something that I've noticed. But uh, his other play feature, besides posability, would be his gear function. So the Toa Metru, although it doesn't exactly look like it, uh, it does have a sort of a gear function. As you can see, there are gears in his chest, and on the back you do have uh, this Technic piece, and you can use the gear function to make his arms go all over the place. Now, for Vakama here, it's the gear function's kind of useless unless you want him to aim, I guess, or sort of get his arm with his disc, disc launcher up uh, fast, but uh, other than that, his swing, both of his swing arms are sort of pointless because he doesn't exactly have a, a melee weapon, but uh, that is uh, perfectly fine. And I, well, I guess that's not the last play, play feature, but uh, you do also have uh, the dual, I guess, storage or dual functionality here with uh, Vakama, so you can just use, uh, store the disc launcher here on the back like that for easy storage and if you want to you can whoops, flip it upside down and you can use it as a jetpack so just like that I think maybe you can also okay so you can't fit the disc in right there but uh, in the comics he does use it as a jetpack like that however one way that I do like to put uh, his disc launcher on his back is by sort of putting it on diagonally like so that's sort of the way that I like to do it. I just think it looks better, uh, and it doesn't like, it, this doesn't exactly, there's not a whole lot of the disc launcher up here and not too much down here. It's just diagonal, so I like it better that way. But overall, that's pretty much it for play features. As for his color scheme, it consists of dark red, gray, and that's, uh, and some other uh, lighter grays, a uh, bit of silver, so not too many colors, but uh, overall the color scheme is pretty solid. There aren't too many clashing colors besides uh, the blue pins or the the green eyes, but the green eyes are sort of like an accent color, uh, and this is what he looks like without. So these, these were the first sets, I believe, to start using these newer style of heads, which would be used for the rest of Bionicle up until 2009, because 2009 used the Glatorian heads instead. But, uh, yeah, so that's honestly really all there is to Vakama. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some other things. Now, I said we'd get back to the canister in a bit, and now is that time. So the canister does serve a couple of other purposes. So, of course, you can use the canister uh, to store the figure inside, and basically how you would do that oops, is you would take off the disc launcher, and you would have to take off one of his arms, unfortunately, but uh, that is the way you would... Uh, 
bend his legs up, sort of stuff him in there like that, stuff the arm there, and then you would put all of this other stuff in here. You would actually put the disc launcher in with him, and you can close him, close it up like that. And also, uh, with the canister lid serves uh, two other purposes, so you can actually put one of the Kanoka discs, or a Kanoka disc, up on the top, so like that, it stays on pretty well. I don't know, for some reason it's easy to do it with the transparent discs, but, uh, I don't know, when I tried it with the disc of time here, for example, it was a lot more difficult, so, I don't know. Again, maybe it's just this one that I have or something, but, uh, yeah. And the lid could also, uh, it serves another purpose. Uh, if you have two Toa Metru canisters, you have two lids, and you can use those two lids to make a Matoran sphere. So, I unfortunately can't demonstrate that here because I only have this canister. But, uh, if you do get two uh, of these lids, then you can put them together to make a Matoran sphere which is a pretty cool play feature and just makes uh, the canisters more useful, I guess. But uh, overall, that's pretty much it for the rest of the set, so let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions. So here is the instruction manual for this set. Here on the front, pretty much the same stuff as on the front of the canister. And then we've got a little uh, picture here of all of the Toa Metro, which uh, looks really cool. And then we've got the instructions, which these look it looks pretty old compared to instructions nowadays. And then they show how to put a comma in the canister. I guess here they show you that you take off both of his arms, but you don't really have to do that. Uh, and then it shows instructions, or at least a third of the instructions for the combo model between Vakama, Matau, and Anua. So, yep, there's that. And then we've got little character posters uh, for all of the Toa Metru. And then a little thing of Metru Nui, and it shows all of the different Metrus. A little thing of the Matoran of Metro Nui that are also sets. I actually have two of them. I have Akmau and Eerie. And then it shows some other stuff that you can get. So you can get the disc packs, which include different types of discs, uh, as well as disc launchers. And here it shows you that thing with the Matoran sphere you can uh, make with the lids. And then what's really cool, I had no idea before I got the instruction booklet, but there's a whole comic, well not a whole comic, but just a little, I guess, sort of introductory comic that introduces you to Metro Nui, which I had no idea about, so that's this is pretty cool. Introduces you to the Matoran and the Toa Metru, so that's pretty cool. And then a little thing for the Lego Club where you could sign up. Uh, and that's pretty, oh, and then you have this here on the back for Bionicle.com, advertises the... Mask of Light, and the Bionicle game. But that's pretty much it for the instruction booklet, so let's go ahead and move on to the end of the video. So overall, Toa Metru Vakama here is a really cool set, and I would say if you are going to get him, I would make sure to get the entire set, uh, which, uh, including the canister instructions, is that's really up to you, but I would definitely make sure to get the canister, because it is a cool part to have. One thing I disliked about this set was the fact of how pointless the gear function is, and that's mainly just because of uh, Vakama's weapon. Of course, it's a disc launcher, it is a long-range weapon, not so much a melee weapon, which is what the gear functions were really built for uh, with these... Uh with these figures. And although these uh, Toa Metru do have a lot of posability compared to previous Toa builds, uh, it is still, they are still a little bit lacking, at least in the shoulders. You can't really move them at all, and you can't just like move one individually. You have to move them both because they are both uh, connected to the gear function, so it is a little bit hard to pose. So if you want to have both of the arms up in the air, it's a little bit difficult to do that. Uh, so yeah, it is a, posing uh, the Toa Metru is a little bit difficult because there's also not really a way to lock it. Uh, you could modify it, maybe add like a gear there or something, but uh, without modifying it, you can't really do that. So overall, I really don't have any other complaints about this set. I definitely think the build of this set is a huge step up from the Toa Mata and Toa Nuva builds, uh, as it does introduce a lot more posability options, although it is still a little bit limited. But again, if you are going to get this set, I would recommend getting the as much of the set as you can, uh, disc and uh, canister and all. But that's pretty much all I have to say about this set, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and keep building!